following video, I would like to show you how simple it is to do a small service on all single and twin shot forks from DT Swiss. Before we start to disassemble the fork, we should verify if all the regulations may turn easily. Before working on any air spring fork, we should release the air out of the air chamber. To release the air, we can use the air cap. In the next step, we start to disassemble the lowers from the stanchions. To do this, we use a 4 mm Allen key. At the end of the lowers, we find on each side a 4 mm Allen key mount. To disassemble the lower, we turn the Allen key clockwise. We do this on each side until the lowers are loose. If the lower is loose, we turn the fork upwards and take care that we have a suitable bowl to drop the oil inside. Then we slide away the lowers. In the next step, we remove the air spring. To remove the air spring, we use an inner circlip plier. If the circlip is removed, please pull it over the elastomere at the end to make sure you will not scratch the piston. Now you can pull out the air spring. Take care that you will catch the oil which is in the air spring in a suitable bowl. After cleaning all the parts, we can start to assemble the fork again. We will start with the lubrication oil for the air chamber. We need 5 ml of lubrication oil. DT Swiss is using Superclis 100K from Motorex. Just pull the 5 ml into the stanchions. In the next step, we can slide the air unit into the stanchions. To make it easier, it's helpful to open the air valve. Then we use our circlip pliers to mount the circlip to fix the air unit in the stanchions. Make sure that the clip ring is really in its groove. Before you slide the lowers over the stanchions, make sure that the foam rings under the seals are fully soaked with oil. The best way 
to get the foam rings in their position is to use your fingers. Now we can start to slide the lowers over the stanchions. First of all, we only slide the lowers over the stanchions until the first lip of the seal. Then we slide the fork vertically and fill up our lubrication oil. As lubrication oil we use the same like in the air chamber. We need 7 milliliters on each side. Now we can slide the lowers completely over the stanchions. The last step when assembling the fork is now to screw the lowers onto the stanchions. We are using again a 4 mm Allen key. To catch the threads, it might be helpful to compress the fork a little bit. The torque is 4 newton meter on each side. Now the fork needs only to be pumped up and built into your bike again. Enjoy riding your fork. Mm -hmm.